Today we got some of the most bizarre videos. Hit those likes, drop a thumbs up, subscribe There's if you're new, and let's check it out. sky in general, and I keep asking myself if it's really just us, human beings, as a rational and intelligent race. Uh, no way, I don't believe that. We, there has to be someone more, for sure. In the universe. Thoughts? You agree, disagree? I guess disagree? most of the times, lots of people ask themselves this exact question. Man, the light it's pollution makes it ridiculously hard to see stars. Is it just Angel. us, or is there maybe something else out there? There has to be. There is now, no recently, way. Recently, the internet has been completely baffled by this topic for some reason, and there have been several videos popping up on social media and many other places that may be evidence of something else out there. <laughs> Yo, what? I've never what seen anything hell? like it. It had a bunch of... Uh, one of the Why? most recent Why? videos that have been back. Yo, that looks like a ship After floating. internet users all over social media was supposedly recorded in Everett in Washington. This is what was seen. Check this out. Damn. That looks like a house, kind of like a ship floating. It has a shape of a house and a ship as well. Because I, I see that ship thingy and it has a house. What? Chinese lantern, Chinese lantern. What you think, man? The excuse gonna be. But we're living in a in an age where it's just ridiculously hard to believe stuff. Imagine it's legit, but it's like you're gonna have doubts. I'm having doubts as well. It's fascinating stuff, but is it real? You know yeah, what I mean? That's what it looks like. I've never seen anything like it. It had a bunch of uh, sparkling lights on and stuff. At first, what appears to be a balloon hovering very slowly over Everett can be seen. Then, when the person zooms in, we can observe several tiny spots of light shining all over the object. Whatever this thing is, it's not producing any sound, as in a drone, so it's not one. And it might just not be a balloon. So what is it? Damn, might but not be. But it doesn't be. stop there, and things just get even stranger in Bogota, when a couple of weeks ago, Lucas Villafañez captured something chilling while working at his home. Now, Lucas has a very interesting social media profile, but he usually posts things about his daily life. It has absolutely nothing to do with mysterious, strange or creepy things caught on camera. But in one specific occasion, Lucas noticed something really strange hovering just next to him and he was able to capture what? it all on camera and this is what he saw. That looked like a... like a Twinkie! What? It looks like a cigar shape, right? Like a cig, maybe? What appears well, to be a cylinder type object can be seen hovering just next to Luca's property. Damn. In the video, we can see it flying straight into the woods and disappear. You have thoughts on this one, man? Completely baffled by what he just saw, Lucas stayed there and recorded more videos in hopes of capturing it again. <laughs> I just saw something flying over the mountain. It flew straight into the woods, he says. There's nothing there. It will probably show up again. Nah, I don't think so. After posting the video to his account, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. Internet users were divided and baffled. While some yeah. state that this could be a drone... Oh, of course, the internet would be baffled because we're living in a time where it's just ridiculously hard to believe because you know everything and anything can be uh, faked out, CGI and... Or maybe a cable wave of some sort. Others left comments saying that Bro. this could actually be a mysterious object going into a cave. And this is the reason the object disappears straight into the woods. Now, Lucas did his best and he went over to that mountain to find out more. And this is what he captured on camera. Ow, ow, Look at the size of the trees. I'm using them as a reference. That strange object was really big. It went over there, that, that way and disappeared. It's not a cable way, as you can see, there are no cables. If it were, there's a lot of echo in these mountains. The same for an RC airplane. Too noisy? There's only trees here, no place to land. It appears that whatever this thing was, it probably wasn't a drone, and it's not a cableway, so what is it?
Yeah, there, it's not Curious, a cable, that's Lucas for sure. continues climbing the mountain and he finds a cave. It could maybe answer why the object simply disappears. But I don't know, the cave doesn't seem to be as large as the object is. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Could it be that this object went into a cave of some sort and vanished inside the mountain? First of all, I would say, like, it's just hard to believe this, right? Like, the... <sighs> Yeah, you, you can. We're living in a time where you can throw like 20 tons of evidence, but it's gonna be like, nah, man, it's fake. That's fake. And I mean, I'm also having a hard time believe this one as well. I don't know, man. Thoughts? And you either you either gotta have like hundreds and hundreds of people there, and all of them post the same clip. That's when I feel like a lot of people would believe, right? Let's just say there were like hundred people down on the ground, and all of them put their cell phones, started recording, different angles, same video, same footage, same object, but different angles, and hundred different people saying the same thing and seeing the same thing and posting it online. That's when it would be like, okay, you know what? That's legit. But if it's like one person only, then it's just hard to believe. Where did these objects come from? What's your take? Uh, that's my take. That's my take. But these so... kinds of mysterious phenomena just keep occurring. And last week, during Halloween, a video went viral of what appears to be a glitch in the sky. The video was captured Ow! in China, and the source is unknown. Dana. Check this out. Dana number one. Dana number one. Mother truckers. I mean, they are trying to make their own moon, no? Like, they want to have a second moon? Unfortunately, the video is really what? short, maybe suggesting that this could be faked or something like that. However, if we pay attention to it and watch it over and over, we can see that the people on the street are all observing this. That's probably like a QR code, right? Bumbaka! They're, they're probably gonna scan that, the government's gonna scan that and be like, minus two million social credits for you right now. Same thing right on that now. cloud. So if this is the real deal, whatever this thing is, it could be maybe a fleet of luminous objects. Drones or not, it's very difficult to say. Man. Or maybe an unexplained glitch of sword. Those mofos are really advanced in technology. They're trying to make a second moon, bruh. bruh. I don't believe anything that comes from there, bruh. Like, it's probably like a technology, a new what's something new, man. Yeah, that's my take. So, I don't know, man. But, but what's your take? No, I don't yeah, know about take? you, but during summertime, I really enjoy traveling with my family or friends to the beach and just stay for as long as I can. Enjoy the summer, the sun, the smell of the rain. The beaches lucky, and everything else it's just wonderful you're lucky but there's man, one man. thing about summer that really bugs me and i guess that it bugs everyone literally <laughs> and those are mosquitoes and i guess that no one actually likes mosquitoes and the fact that they spread lots of diseases amongst humans but they are a part of nature and i guess that meddling around with their genetics isn't exactly the best of ideas in the long term in my opinion However, recently a video went viral on social media of a man that supposedly found a mosquito and there was something really wrong about it. This is what he saw. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. She's a pretty little. What? 336. Is there like a chip? In the video, a man holds a live mosquito and in it we can see imprinted somehow the number 36. The video was posted by Reddit user Dank Pepe Boy, and he says, Pepe Boy? "Any theories about what this is? I somehow doubt that the explanation is as simple as someone wrote a tiny 36 on it." Needless to say, internet users were completely divided about this video. Some say that this is a natural pattern, that the number 36 is just a coincidence. While others state the companies. Yeah, I do agree. There are certain things, you know. Sometimes you see some objects, for example, in the cloud, and it looks like a like a face, but it's not a face. It's just uh, your brain is trying to make sense of it, right? Your your and brain your brain is seeing like patterns and whatnot. So I I do agree with that, but but damn, like damn, coincidence? I don't know, man. I don't know. I've been studying on genetically modifying mosquitoes. So I immediately began to research the topic and I found tons of articles actually stating that companies indeed are genetically modifying mosquitoes for several reasons. Damn! Yo, God knows what else they're doing, man. Like. Anyways, in your opinion, what do you think is really going on here? Does this mosquito actually have a number 36 tagged on it? And why so? It's very bizarre. It kind of, to me, it looks like 38 right now. You know what I mean? 
but okay this is probably six but what i believe is that i do believe that they're probably doing something with mosquitoes and whatnot that i do believe in but i'm not sure if this per se is legit or not like i'm inclined to believe it it's very fascinating very intriguing for sure but i do believe in the fact that yeah they're likely doing some demonic stuff with them maybe not demonic per se but they're trying to reverse engineer or genetically modify them or or is it just some coincidence like a pattern in nature where we see the number 36 because we want to what's but your what take? are the but what are the odds of that actually happening and someone like holding holding it in their in their fingers recording it putting it over on tiktok and that going viral i mean on tiktok if you post something that's intriguing it will go viral. yeah it will go viral so but, but other than that what are the odds of you actually catching something like that you know the odds would be point zero 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 one percent man and that happened every once Damn. in a while people travel to a small city in the woods or in the mountains to have a good time relax forget about their daily chores and that kind of thing lucky them and i guess that this is exactly what daniel whitehead did when he traveled to baxter in tennessee near silver point on october 26 2022 now oh, baxter damn. being a Not very long. small town with a population of only 1500 people is nestled among the hills and mountainous terrain of the Cumberland Plateau. So on one side of Baxter, you have this beautiful place full of wildlife. And in the other side, you have Cookville, a city where in the 1960s, strange things happen around this witch graveyard, where students of the Baptist Student Union used to take freshmen to this specific place to tell them stories, strange stories about this mysterious graveyard. Hey, we better see some ghosts. Yeah, don't look behind you, boys. Don't do that. And it that. was somewhere around Baxter, near Silver Point, that Daniel Whitehead captured what appears to be what? a humanoid creature what the on hell? camera. Yo, Check this out. That looks like a like a because, like a bear, or or like a no, not not a bear. That? I mean, Shibaba, perhaps. I'm afraid. Bruh. It looks like a Bigfoot, honestly. What? He's big, man. Like a monkey, oh right? God. Monkey? Monkey? Oh my god. He's looking at it. Maybe throw like a banana or something. Oh Finally, can you see that? What appears to be a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot can be seen on camera. And Daniel <laughs> is completely baffled by it. Some internet users believe that this could actually be just a human being. Fake CGI, jeez, come on, people. I fake, I'm sorry, but I don't buy it. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, wrong. wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Using some sort of suit. However, if you take a look closely in the video, you'll see that this creature's arms are too long. Yeah. Whatever this thing is, it yeah. might just be something else other than a human being trying yeah. to fake a situation. Yeah. Other internet users suggest that this could actually be Bigfoot. Oh, one of the real, real sure. captured. Damn. But this isn't the only video this week that portrays something really odd captured on camera in terms of cryptids and strange creatures. Ow! I feel like... Uh, what? This next video was posted by Phantom88 on Reddit and he writes... Weird artifact in CCTV camera from outside. Yo, we literally reacted to a ghost video. Uh, I believe that was my last video. Definitely check that out after this one that actually had this. By my dad's yeah. work. I feel like. I what you're about to watch next is one of the strangest videos that I've ever seen in regards to cryptids. Check this out. Yeah, I think it was the video. If it has two people, then it's probably that video. Similar, similar. Deja vu, deja vu. I'm getting that deja vu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yep, that's the one. That's the one. I don't get it, man. You got like two legs there, two legs. That's a mouse. That's a face, and got like a T-Rex like hands. But but it's not hands. It's like a person is four four legs walking. However you say that. At first, what appears to be a three-legged creature can be seen in the video. Some internet users suggest that this is a three-legged dog. Or some sort of crooked entity, one that you can see in the Conjuring to the movie. Oh, dang. In my opinion, whatever this thing is, it's a very solid creature. It is not a ghost. Others state that this could be, for example, 
camera artifact coming from the fact that this is a security camera with a certain encoding. Now even so, other internet users agree that being a camera artifact or not, it is quite impossible to make out what this is. And it doesn't look like it's a human being at all. Yeah. So whatever is going on here, it is a complete mystery. What if it was just a cow? Bro. But it, what if it was just a cow, bro. you know, and that is glitching out. That's why we're kind of like seeing Two-Face and... Doesn't stop there. But Javier I know, man, Uchiha, it's wild, it's 95, wild. 95 posted a very strange video of what appears to be something very similar by what was posted by Phantom88 on Reddit. Check this out. Oh, damn. Oh, 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 oh. You imagine no, it runs made a very short video of what appears to be a person walking down the street. This is until he decided to take a picture, which indeed... Bro, like someone is probably trying to go to their house, to their home, to their loved ones, man. Damn, man. Probably after work, right? It has right? a very like... much better quality, at least at night. But it's kind of scary. And in this picture, we can see what appears to be some sort of Fresno night crawler what? or something like that. What? It's what completely are those baffling that all of these videos were published basically in the same week and they portray something really similar. And to make it even weirder, these videos were taken in very different places, sometimes even in different countries. For instance, in Mexico, Dano Tafoya captured something chilling at her workplace. Oh, Check damn. this out. Something really strange happened here at my workplace. This is the parking lot at the building I work. Let me show you. Yo, she she looking like a snack though. This is it. Check check in this Check this place out. Now let me show you the video. She writes in the building she bad. work. It was about 11 p.m. and there was absolutely no one in the building besides the security guards. This is what Dano Tafoya captured on camera. Yo, let me get that. Let me. In the video, we can see what appears to be a crooked man with long arms and long legs. Bro, All I... of these videos show basically the same thing. Long arms out... and long legs. What is going on here? I emptied out my entire clip and you're telling me that it was still walking? Is it just a coincidence? Maybe a hoax, or is there something to it? Something maybe far more sinister? Mm. I'll leave it up to you. What is your take on My these take is, strange videos? It might be just a cow, you know what I mean? Bruh. Like, you know, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, but, but it, it's wild, it's bizarre, it's bizarre. I'm not a scientist, so I don't know though. Usually when people are sitting down with friends or family during dinner time, and start talking about unexplained topics. It's very interesting how everyone has an unexplained story to tell. The thing is, most of the times, there is a really good explanation to what? unexplained things caught on camera. Sometimes, what? there isn't. What? Bro, what the f is this? What the hell? Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys saw that one Sometimes. Sec explanation Check, check Everyone this. The has ball is an unexplained story to tell. My face can The thing is, that. most of the times, there is a really good explanation to unexplained things caught on camera. That ball just goes up, though. You know what I mean? Run five seconds. Okay, check this. Is one, okay. a really good explanation to unexplained things caught on camera. Sometimes there isn't. Bro, what the f is Bro. this? Probably uh, the Undertaker. No. The Phenom. Wait, the Phenom. Bro. The Undertaker. What? I mean, it's a normal Ooh. man. Normal oh, man. Be up there, bro. What the? F you can't even see his face. Oh, oh damn. Oh my God, bro. Oh damn. Okay. Yeah, what he's the... right. What the? F I thought he was just like he's just freaking out for over none. Bro. He disappeared. Bro. Bro, 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 what the? No way. And I guess this is exactly the case with a social media account by the name of Prohood Winker. 
She was casually recording a moment in her life during the afternoon when she noticed something really strange, something that neither her or anyone on the internet could explain. What the? This is what she caught on camera. What's up, guys? I'm watching this video on repeat. Your guys' uh. comments are amazing. And someone what? just pointed something out that I cannot believe what I am seeing. All right, Wait, you what? see homeboys walk up to me <laughs> with the dog. Homeboys, homeboys. Uh, doing, the strange dog, right? But check this out. Right here at 42 seconds, you can see through dude with the glasses as he's walking past the tree. You can see the Bear. tree through him. Watch this right here. Them, here we go. Back. Hold up. Almost. Uh, where? Where? As he's walking away. Right there. You see through the tree. Oh, damn. Apparently, Pro Hood Winker was recording a moment in her afternoon when these two guys come up to her and start arguing about something. Well, she posted the video to her account. And this is when one of her subscribers noticed that the guy in glasses is actually see through, damn. which is basically impossible. Yeah. Some internet users are stating. Uh, I'm trying to make like sense in my head because uh, even if it's a bad, bad quality camera, you will n still not be able to see through, right? Because that's just like impossible with that. It's just the light bending lol. That this is. My guy got the chat back, bruh. Probably taken stolen image from Google, right? Bruh. Just a camera glitch not his due image. to the effect of Wrong. the sunlight being contrary to the camera lens. However, even if that were to be a good explanation, it would not explain how we can actually see through the guy in glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. After the video went viral, many internet users were divided. Some believe that this could actually be a glitch in the camera lens, while nah. others think that this is a glitch in the simulation and that there is no explanation to it. Is this so possible? Is it, is it possible to be able to record something and be able to see uh, see through a person because your camera is faulty or you have a low quality camera? I don't think so because even if a, if it's a low quality camera, you're not going to be able to see through. You're, probably there will be distortion and low quality if your lens is broken or your camera is broken, whatever the case might be, right? Like the, there will be distortion. Maybe the person would be like wiggly or whatnot, but you won't be able to see through that if that, that makes sense. In reply to many internet users that were in doubt, posted another video. Now, in the second video, there has to be an explanation. What she's talking about, and it's very clear, we can actually see through the guy in glasses. Pause it, maybe somewhere. Let's see if we can pause it. Now, pausing would be really hard to see because right now it's working normally. I think. Look at that line. No, that's Many just internet users were left completely baffled by this video, and some suggest that this could actually be a legit glitch in the Matrix. But I'm not too sure about this. What do you think? Is it actually possible that we're living inside some sort of digital simulation, and that this video, for instance, is evidence of such thing? What if uh, the light is hitting on his face from the other side uh, in a weird way to make us feel that way that we're able to see through but it's not it's just the light reflection hitting him hitting it on his face from the other side uh, that's a weird, a weird take that's like a you know shot in the dark or is it maybe just camera illusion or maybe something else yeah that's What's a shot in the dark take? yeah definitely definitely suspect on October 31st, millions of people all over the world celebrate Halloween, a date where the dead are remembered and celebrated. It's as if in this specific date, a mysterious connection between the... Yo, that, that, I've seen, uh, what's it called, like, uh, WandaVision, like, not long ago, ...living and the non-living world somehow takes place. There and are people that... Date, when I was there are people that actually do that kind of stuff, right? Younger, Wild. I used to go trick or treating, and I used to ask myself, do ghosts actually exist? Mm. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Be but I see like a ghost. Like a... Oh damn! I gotta lower the volume, boys, boys. If I see some, I'm 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 firing. In this particular video, a father and a son feel bothered by something in the basement. 
They go to check it out, and this is what happens. Ow! I know, I know. Yo, my hand's shaking, my hand's shaking. See, my hand's shaking, my hand. Did you fart? No. Sure, calm down, you too. It's winter time. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, is that something in front of me? I know that's a boxing man. Punching man. Boy, yeah. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, no. Cover me, I'm reloading. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know. No, no, stop, stop. Man. They're not that scary. No, we make a break. There's nothing there. Stay by me. Stay right by me. Yo, okay, dad me. is like, yo, stay by me. They're gonna check it again. Just oh, damn. Jump. It's not there. Oh, eh, what? Oh, still there, it's still what? there, it's still there. What appears to be a shadow figure can be seen in the video. What's now, if you don't know what a shadow person is, it's a perception of a patch of shadow as a living humanoid figure and interpreted as the presence of a spirit or other entity by believers in the paranormal or supernatural. And Deal. officially, because experts have not been able to replicate a ghost in a laboratory, they are not recognized as something that exists. Mm. Bruh. Bruh. So you're telling me that if you cannot replicate something that doesn't exist, so it's like me saying I have never been to Japan. Does that mean Japan don't exist? <laughs> I, I know, okay, I know, I know, Bruh. like, boom, boom, crazy, uh, crazy analogy out here, but I mean, damn, bro, like, why you wanna try, why are you trying to replicate a ghost, bro? However, there are thousands of people, if not millions, which will report their experience with something paranormal, something that they can't explain. And some yeah. of these experiences and paranormal events yeah. will make anyone scratch their heads. Yeah. And there are some videos out there which will do the same. Bruh. And this is the case with this next. Yo, I'm not just scratching my head right now. I'm scratching my balls as well, dog. Video that we're about to watch that was published by Joseph and Jovu. Joseph. This is what he caught on camera. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Okay, so three, five, three, four. Let's just say, or three, three, or th almost three, five. Yeah, okay, I'm getting that bad kind of vibe from this one, bruh. I'ma shoot it. Just in case, if something's behind it, you know, hey, 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 What? What? Nah, Cap. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake. It's like trying to. In the video, Joseph and Jovo seems to be worried about something. He looks at the clock. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. He looks outside. There is what appears to be fake. A flying fake. humanoid. This thing, whatever it is, is reflecting on the car window, which made me think at first this video could be real. Oh damn! Looking at the comments. That. There are dozens of people who think the video is real and there are others who think that the video is in part CGI or special effect. Mm -hmm. Sh special not effect? Nah man, I, uh, but, but yeah, but if it's a special effect, it's a very well done not too sure though. Good reflection? Whatever this thing is, it's reflecting itself in the car window. So if it is a special effect, it's really well done. Yeah. What's your take on this video and the other one that was shown before? And have you ever yourself had a the, the second I saw like those glowing eyes, I was like, no, it's fake. That's that that was my first indicator. I don't know why I said that way, because I feel like that we're all really like programmed in a way. Uh because if you see like those eyes kind of glowing, you have seen that in movies and stuff like that. So if you see that, uh you know through videos like that you you are programmed to believe it's fake and that's why i was like instantly that's fake it, it, it's still scary though i'm like it freaked me out there but uh yeah you know what i mean right like normal experience I, eh, I i can believe this one more 
But I know this can also be like fake though, Bruh. right? There could be another person with some black cloth on, black robe on, and this could be faked easily. The other one probably would require a lot more stuff to fake that one out, but I'm inclined to believe this more than the other one. Thoughts? When I was younger living at my parents' house, I remember having these bunch of toys and dolls spread all over the house. Hey. And during the day, I used to play with them, no problem at all. Oh man. But at night, I used to avoid them at all costs. Yo, if you're a parent, like, are you really gonna buy your kids those uh, dolls? Don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. It just creeped me out, and I don't know why. Yeah. And it still kind of does. The thing yeah. is, in some cultures, it is believed that dolls and toys can carry some sort of evil spirit or something like that. Hey. And I'm not sure if this is the case with certain videos that we see. But recently, there was a video uploaded to the internet of what appears to be a doll moving on its own. And this isn't the only video of such phenomenon. Yeah, Check this I've out. seen it. Yo, we, uh, we reacted to a video just recently. I believe in the last video. Yep, this was the clip. I've seen it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Just check it out. It blinked. It blinked, he said. I caught it blinking. In the video, we can observe what appears to be the doll blinking. And the person that is recording this is completely baffled by it. I've observed and watched this video over and over again, thinking that this might actually be a person pretending to be a doll, which would actually make sense. But I don't think it's the case, which makes this even more mysterious. But even creepier is the fact that this isn't the first time that this happens. In a video posted by A Dimensional Paranormal YouTube channel in 2016, we can see something very similar caught on camera. Check this out. Okay, this one I have not seen. Okay, so it's that. Hey, yo, what am I looking at? Yo, what am I looking at? Is it gonna turn? I gotta burp. Yo, the what? In this In the video, it this is face. really. I was okay listen for the longest amount of time I thought that the eyes were here and it was looking at this direction right like it's like that you know like that it's looking at this direction and I was not seeing that the second I saw those eyes and that face I was like yeah, 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 yeah. you know I got be clear the statue closes its eyes or moves its eyes on its own yeah. I'm pretty sure there might be an explanation for this but even so it is as creepy as it can get yeah. Homie probably wanted to sleep. Bruh. But it doesn't stop there. In Venezuela, there is a certain statue that is known for, sometimes, crying on its own. This, for instance, is the video of a statue known as Jose Gregorio Hernandez. Check this out. Oh, he bought a blink too, boys. I'm gonna pop that. You're so close. Is my boy crying? Yo, you watch him like blink and he's gonna get scared, dog. Watch him blink and I'm gonna bust. You can see bust. that the statue appears to be crying. And at first, I thought that the video could be fake. That maybe some people out there are throwing water in his eyes and making it look like he's crying. But it is a known fact in this specific town in Unidad Educativa, Jose Gregorio Hernandez in Charolave. So, oh, damn, whatever everybody. is going on here. I can't seem to find an explanation for it. Everybody trying to record. Damn, homie crying though. I don't know, man. Now, what makes mira. this all very unique is the fact that there are countless videos out there of dolls moving on their own and statues moving on their own. And I guess that most of the times, the explanation would be a change of temperature in the room or something like that. But in some cases, water, non -temp room temperature, there's something chilled. more to it. And I guess that to this day, experts can't find a good explanation for it. There's gotta opinion, be an explanation, right? Have you ever seen something like this happening? And what do you think about it? Never. Ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen, man. If you enjoyed this video, I'm telling you, man, this is uh, the sequel, man. The, the sequel, that's great. Click on it, subscribe, and I'll see you there.